Hey friends, it's the Baron without the window weather on this 15th day of August 2014. So I thought I'd give you guys a little update for the uh, permaculture stuff. So um, if you've seen in a past video, right through here is where the rain runoff comes. Just kind of runs off the mountain and then runs down the little ditch that runs just on the edge of the property. Um, and anyways, right here is where I dug a swell so that it could capture some water and then over on this side right on the other side of the swell is where I piled the wa water up I mean sorry piled the, the mud up up just from the swell and I do that every once in a while when it starts getting you know extra filled up with silt and such and then just on the other side of the swell and that little ditch is where my fruit forest is which was pretty cool because the berries are doing spectacular but I thought I'd take an experiment this year and so on this like mound that is the dirt from digging out these swells these runoffs I took some extra um, tomato starts and just stuck them here on the edge not really worrying anymore about I'm just gonna do the whole permaculture thing well if you look, the tomatoes did awesome, and this one right here is just flipping amazing. So my hand, like it is one of the biggest tomatoes, I believe. Um, I believe that these are a beef eater. Um, they could be a hillbilly tomato. I don't know. Um, they were just some starts that I retransplanted from that volunteer came up from last year. But as you see. There's the edge of the, right there is the edge of the, uh, the swell where the water comes in and keeps going down. I mounded, I mounded all of this up right here. And then I just planted tomatoes, just some extra tomatoes that I have. And it's just, they're doing absolutely spectacular. And then just a little path into the fruit forest. I was working on that because it's about time to do some chop and dropping. So anyways, um, yeah, I just thought I'd give you guys an update on how cool swells work and the cool stuff that you can do with permaculture. So anyways, it's a barren without the window weather on this 15th day of August 2014 and my permaculture tomato swell garden. Have yourself a wonderful day.